Hello my friends. A couple of weeks ago I was trying to um, export some motions from iCloud to Unreal Engine and then I had some problems and didn't really um, know how to do that and then every time when I just did it I just failed and um, some other problems. <clears throat> so what I decided today for the new project I have, um, I have to export the characters into Unreal Engine. And also on top of that, I have to export the animations FBX to Unreal Engine. Let's keep it in Unreal Engine. So what I'm going to do uh, today, what we are going to do actually together, um, we export Emotion. First of all, we just um, uh, modify the motion and then tweak and mess around the motion and make it uh, the way that we like and it like it looks like it's 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 satisfying us. And then after that, let's take that to Unreal Engine. Let's do it together because it's a really nice project. <clears throat> well, this is. Um, one of the motions I would like to export to Unreal Engine. Um, let's play that again together. Um, the frame, uh, the, the the motion length is 160 frames. As you can see, it's just a boxing idle. So I'm okay with that. As you can see, it is okay. It just has a really really good. Um, active um, boxing idle motions everything is okay the only thing that I'm I need to add probably is expression because definitely you wouldn't uh, see any boxers when they are just guarding uh, with no expression so let's um, add some expression to it so I'm going to do just try to mainly focus on his face because that's important and then I go and add some expressions <clears throat> we do some trial and error together to make sure you just get best out of it <clears throat> the first thing I need to think when I'm doing the, the expression is uh, okay so what is the mood of the guy so for example in this case this is a boxing idol so definitely he's not in a party so he shouldn't be happy so the mood should be a little bit angry. <clears throat> How can I do the angry face? So of course, uh, frowny faces, a little bit nose goes up, probably. And I'm gonna be having a little bit uh, showing the teeth. Um, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> so what I like, what I would like to do, I personally like to do the face puppet. But well, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just clicking on uh, face key and see what I've got here in the expression section um, let's have a look at the angry so the reason why I'm doing it is so at least it gives me a base and I can add uh, my uh, motions so maybe just put it in 80 so look at angry, angry, angry three. Well, this is not definitely angry face. I want to just be probably with this one. This one is more realistic. Number three for me and for my project. It could be something else for you. And then I close that, keep it as a base. So now I've got the base. And always remember you're in the very first um, frame. Next thing I'm going to do, uh, click on face puppet. And the reason why I'm doing that is now I've got a base of the angry face. So it's a it's a good good step to start. Um, I'm gonna get rid of everything here. And 
I'm going to be having a look at this idle through these 160 frames. Um, the other thing I was going to say before just doing it, let's let's um, let's extend this um, motion. There's a reason behind, it and I'll tell you. Let's see if we can extend this motion because um, most of the time, when you are creating something, and specifically when you're adding some expression, definitely the expression you are adding specifically with the puppet, it's not going to be exactly the same. Um, um, all over the place here in this section in this motion so definitely we need to um, uh, make sure the length is covering um, our, um, our our shot so for example maybe you want to have a shot of four seconds on his face when he is just uh, doing the boxing idol and if you have a, like five seconds and this length is only three seconds and if you just um, extend it, um, probably the expression you have in this section is not going to be exactly the same as this section. And then probably you're going to be uh, seeing a pop, a popping back to, because it starts just again from the beginning. So that's why before doing the expression, the best way is let's make a decision about the, how, um, how much the length of our uh, expression would be so for example in this case maybe I would like to see um, maybe six seconds instead of three seconds so in this case I've got a good um, time so because mm, when I put in Unreal Engine I can cut it to four seconds or three seconds but if I have a three seconds it's gonna be really really hard to just extend it later on specifically when you're adding all these hard works of expressions so let's do it together um, let's um, add another clip and let's have a look the idle again so we've got the idle as you can see it's got a really nice um, I can't see any jump here to be honest with you um, let me just put this here see one more time I don't see any jump to be honest with you um, if I put that here Let's see, this is going to be our late, uh, our um, <clears throat> latest one, latest frames. Okay, I can see there's no jump. Okay, perfect. It's really nice. This is what I'm going to have. And based on this six seconds, now I'm doing the expression. Because this idle is loopable. It's looping, but my expression, because it's 100% manual, it's not going to be looping. That's why I'm, uh, I prefer to extend my idle. So at the time of sending it to Unreal Engine, then I've got a lot of room to play. I can just cut it to three cents, uh, three. Uh, seconds or four seconds or five seconds to keep it as six seconds. It's really important. Don't worry. Don't don't forget it. It's very important. Let's um, I uh, preferably uh, if you don't want to put a camera here, preferably click on 50 millimeter lens. Don't go with 20 millimeter lens. It's gonna kind of like making some problems with um, your expression and it's a little bit unrealistic. That's why I go with the 50 millimeter lens. And let's um, make sure we are in the very first frame and then click on the character, click on the animation and go to face pop. Now we've got the base, which is the angry face because he comes to the, the boxing ring, they want to fight. So he's from uh, beginning to, to finish, he's angry. So now we've got the face next thing we are going to do now we are um, uh, doing some trial and error so for example I'm grabbing these nodes 
and tr drag them a little bit. Let me just change this to one. The strength, I can see. That's exactly very nice one. Let's see if I add these as well and then push them up together. Okay, it's perfect now. How about this? Perfect. How about this? Um, I probably get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. How about this? I think it's good for for the starting. I click on record. Uh, make sure I'm in a blend mode. After um, I'm, I'm happy with this strength of one. Maybe I can change this to 1.2. Sorry, let's just uh, go back. Okay. Let's um, let's go with sprint 1.2 and take a preview. Okay, very nice. Do the record. I prefer to go with 50% speed recording because I would have more control on control on it. I hit enter and it push my mouse up to make sure I've got very nice. Um, frowny face. Let's just go back. Perfect. That's what I have. Now I'm going to add some extra expressions here. So maybe I just add expression on lips maybe sorry maybe this lips um, probably this one this one is okay probably not sure just go with one I don't want to exaggerate more and go that much um, let me just let's just go with this part I think I'm happy with this one How about this one? I think I'm okay with this. This is really good, but not too far. So I'm just, uh, because I would like to have more control on it, I just turn this to 0 0.5. Now it gives me more control on it. Okay, click record, and then make sure I'm in a blend mode, and then hit enter. I just give a little bit time. I'm not starting from the beginning, and then now I start gradually just uh, showing my teeth, and then bring it back. So let's have a look. Now gradually just showing my teeth, and perfect. Now I clear everything. Let's see what happens if I just a little bit. Uh, play with the head. Let's do the recording, the 50 spin. As you can see, I'm trying to controlling it with the motion. Perfect. Perfect. 
Um, the other thing I can do is probably I can just check the eyebrows. Okay, let's do that. As you can see, there's really frowny. He's got a frowning face, eyebrows, eyes, everything. So let's have a look now. I think I'm okay with that. It's really realistic. And I think it's good for sending it to Unreal Engine. I doubt if I just add anything extra, maybe a little bit of this. Always make sure you're, you're in the controlled level. Otherwise, um, maybe 0 0.85, 80. You don't want to really making it unrealistically ridiculous. Let's do that. We give a little bit of time. Go up now. Have a really nice expression. Perfect. I think I'm done. To be honest with you. I think it's realistic. I'm very happy with this result. What I'm going to do, I need to save them. For saving it, I grab from in this, in this section in collect clip. If you don't have it or if you don't see it, you go under your character click on this little arrow here and it should be here and mm, tick that on so what you can do you can grab it from here click um, hold the left click and come all the way to the end and this is your collected clip um, Let me do it again. Um, I just want to make sure I'm picking from the right place. Just go all the way back. And then I do the right click and I do um, add motion plus to library. I click Add Motion Plus to Library, and I'll tell you why. If you want to export this, what I just realized, uh, it's not just giving you the right accuracy, and sometimes missing um, the the expressions. It just only um, send not the expressions, only the motions. Um, that's why the best the best idea is just adding it to your motion plus to the library. Just click on this and then you just leave everything here as it is and then click on OK. And click on boxing idle here. Click, click. And now it's added into your motion plus as you can see here. <clears throat> it's here. So what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm giving it a try here. What I do is just remove object animation. So as you can see now, he's, there's there's no no animation. It's static. And let's um, give it a try. Uh, select the character and click on the guy. I see we've got a really really nice six seconds. Mm, boxing idol create a really good expression realistic expression I think I'm happy now with this what I can do now is
what I can do now here is um, let's just give it a try again I'm deleting this as you can see there's no expression no nothing I'm double clicking just uh, make sure you're in the very first frame okay now we have this a very nice expression okay let's um, export that click on the guy click export and export FBX um, I make sure you select Unreal in the, in the exported range you click on the range I think it should be in current frame you change this to range I automatically captures whatever your end range here is make sure this is exactly at the end of at the, it's matching with your ending uh, motion length uh, you don't really need to you, uh, unuse morph and hidden face so make sure you just click on delete and delete and export it and then what I'm going to do I'm clicking it in here so I'm going to idle and click on boxing idle let's delete them boxing idle zero one and let's click and we wait until we see the boxing idle one here Okay, now I have it here. It's here. It's Boxing Idle 1. I go to my Unreal Engine project. I've already update, uploaded the character. Um, if you haven't update, uploaded the character yet, it's really easy to upload it, and I'll show you now. Let me just get rid of this one. So it's really easy. What you can do from here, um, you can simply drag your character here. I'm going to show you now. Let's go to motion. Let's go to boxing here. Um, I go to idle one. I grab the FBX file, just only XBX file. FBX file and click and leave it here. Uh, make sure you have the enable character creator icon ticked and then high quality if you would like. And there's a pop up message here and ask you um, about how you want to import the mesh. So if you want to import the mesh, you leave these two open. You leave these two ticked, skeletal mesh and import mesh. So these two ticked. Also make sure these four are ticked as well. But because I've already imported this character into Unreal Engine, I don't really need to do that. So that's why what I'm going to do I uncheck import mesh it's very important then I click next to this section here there's a drop-down list and then I target the character which I would like to see this um, motions going to so this motion needs to go to the boxer 01 the score 0 underscore zero 02 that's what I would like to see I click and I assigned this uh, motion to this skeleton mesh the next section is about the animation make sure leave it or select the animate types and then you don't really need to do anything with anything else just make sure everything is is the same thing as you can see 
these are checked then click on import all and now you've got a pop-up message don't worry about it and you have this idle here let's give it a try and see what we've got now so I've got this boxing idle 01 which I imported now um, let's see how it works I click on if you don't know what this is let me just tell you let me just um, remove this I you can click simply on this guy it comes up and it shows you where it is you grab it drag it into here and then what you all you need to do is next to animation here click on the animation and then say and you can see the list of your animations and the boxing idle 01 is the one that we recently imported into Unreal Engine. We click on it and let's see what we have. I'd like to see okay clicking here and let's see what we've got it's very nice and as you can see you've got the expression This is our expression. We have frowny face. I replay it again. You can see that. And you can see this one as well. I'm really happy with that. Um, hope you enjoy this video and I hope I could just add something um, to what you didn't know or your knowledge about um, importing from iClone to Unreal Engine. Um, thanks for um, your time and watching this video. Please don't forget for supporting me. Subscribe me if you liked the video and please hit the like button if you didn't. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. Or if you ask, uh, if you would like to know about anything else, uh, let me know and I. Um, definitely make a video about it uh, thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next video